What up, dude? What up? Oh my god, what's happening to me, dude? I got glasses. I think we discussed this. I have two pairs of glasses. I already lost one. I don't know where they're at. So now I got the one my girlfriend wanted me to buy. And the problem with me with glasses one is it looks like I'm the kind of guy who wears fake prescription glasses, which I'm not. But here we are. It's honestly insane how fucking blind I was when I was fighting it. Oh, dude, I, every, everybody, like, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting old now? Because I had to go to the dentist yesterday. I've been avoiding the dentist for a fucking... I don't know. Oh, wow. But I was for sure. I was like, I've got a cavity. No cavities, dude. But the doctor was like, you are, you need a mouthpiece, brother, for when you sleep. And I'm like, no. Let them grind. You know what I mean? My, I want to kind of... Like, I already have little chiclet teeth. I got little dolphin teeth. You know what I mean? I got little guys. Like, I, I mean, who gives a fuck? I got a baby mom. What, what am I gonna... I, like, I'm a dad now. I'm allowed to have, like, a gross mouth. All dads need, need bad breath and, like, one gross toe. You need a disgusting toenail. Do you guys have a dad I like got? You know what I mean? I never saw my biological dad's feet, but my stepdad's feet, he... he those tootsies were mangled, dude. Does anything piss you off like people that don't shovel their fucking car off? That shit pisses me the fuck off, dude. It's always like some fucking guy in like a with a Porsche. Am I gonna run this red light? Yeah. You know I'm not gonna got behind me. <laughs> yeah, but I had to go to the dentist yesterday and he's like, dude. The lady was like, because I, I haven't been there in so long. They put like, you know they put the little hooks in your fucking gums, a little hook scraper? Like, are all fucking dental hygienists into BDSM? Like, what's that about? I don't want to jam hooks. And, like, I'm a pretty fucking... I don't know. Like, that stuff doesn't bother me. But jamming those little hooks to clean the shit off your teeth, you're just like, fuck me, lady. And, like, she's putting a little... You know the little sucker? I wish I had one of those at home. The little air hose they could put in your mouth to, like, suck out the blood. But, dude, I'm fucking... I was bleeding all over the place. I was like, so I'm, I was like, I'm a bleeder, like make it fucking around. And she's like, no, you just might not be flossing. I was like, what do you mean might not be flossing? Why don't you just ask me if I'm flossing? I don't like the fucking passive aggressive. Well, maybe you're not brushing your teeth, you know? Maybe you're not flossing. That's like when you try to talk to a girl, like a girl's complaining about gaining weight. Like maybe you're not. Are you really eating that good? You know? I, I don't like that. Just ask. Are you flossing? I'm like, no, you don't want to be pick guy. I used to be, I used to use those flossers. Like the stick. But then I got yelled at because I'm fucking leaving them everywhere. I was leaving them in people's houses. Which, not good, but, you know. My fucking helium show just got canceled Thursday. Every, I hate these fucking pop-up shows. Ah, uh, I don't. It is what it is. It really is. Uh, in all honesty, dude, I could take a night off the YouTube. I'm so fucking tired, dude. This baby, this beautiful little bitch, is kicking my teeth in. Like, devastating. Not even bad. It's just like, you don't realize how much, like, just waking up for five minutes every, like, you're, I'm always like, dude, if I could get, like, I'm not as bad. I feel like most people are just, like, absolutely dead. But I can kind of, my, my main problem with it is I'm not that tired. It's that I can't go to the fucking gym. I hate not being able to work. Pro-life, hug your kids. Absolute ugliest guy you've ever seen. Why are pro-life people always disgusting? You know? There's not that many pro-life people that are hot, are there? I, maybe it's just all the people I see chirping about it. I'm like, I don't know, do you want to keep your clan going? That's always my thing with racist people. Fucking white power guys are always like, dude, you look at them and you're like, fuck, man. You think you're the shit? You know what I mean? It's always those guys who are yapping about that shit. You know? I think some little kid just called, called me driving to his parents driving. What? His parents? What? His parents driving him to school. And looked over and saw me filming myself. So like, Dad, look, he's a YouTube streamer. He's gay. Nah, son, I'm going to a construction site, brother. It's a little... This is my therapy, you know? 
This is my therapy that I'm barely doing anymore because this baby's crushing my will to live. You don't want none of this, son. Dude, I don't watch a true... Are you guys watching True Detective? I'm liking it. But I, you know, I'm not liking... It's like, okay... I get it that women didn't have power. And, okay... Like, the, there's one scene where they're fucking digging up... I don't know. If you didn't see it, spoiler alert. But they're fucking digging up like they find... It's not even a spoiler. They found these bodies. You know what I mean? It's True Detective. Something happens. There's dead people. They're digging up these bodies and the fucking ladies like... They're like brushing away. The guy starts taking selfies. The other guy's like fake coming on the body. You know, they're like horsing around. He's like, dude, boy, stop. It's a crime scene. I'm like, how come there always has to be some fucking, there's a lady that's trying to whip us into shape. It's like it's a murder scene, you know. It's just, it's just, I don't know. It's one woman running the investigation. And then the other woman that's running the investigation could be construed as a gay woman. But she's smoking hot. Bang. Oh, look, she's not smoking hot. I don't know why. She's not smoking hot. I wouldn't say she's hot. She's kind of like... She's one of those chicks that looks so lesbian. You're like, that's a butch lesbian. But she's still making it move. You know what I mean? You're kind of confused. You're like, I'm usually not into this. And then there's a sex scene. You're looking at her shoulders and traps. And you're like, something's up. You know? Like... She built like Holly Holm, but with nice skin. You know what I mean? Nice big shoulders, round, round mound. You know what I mean? It's a problem. I, uh, one of these guys, union rats out front of the job. I'm like, hey, how about you go get another job, you know? The union pisses me off because I tried to get into it for so long. Then you don't get in, and then all they do is make you feel bad for working somewhere else. I'm like, dude, I tried to fuck you. You know? That's the shit that drives me nuts. Trying to, like, I don't know. The, the union, it's like some fucking hot chick you tried to bang. And she was like, you know, when you're younger, you're like, I'm not taking you to dinner. I'm not, you know? We can meet up for a drink and then fuck and then... And then she gets a boyfriend and the guy maybe makes a ton of money, you know? Maybe makes a ton of money and makes her feel safe with her future... But he dresses like a guy who, you know, you know those guys. The khakis, the polo. It's like, yeah, he's nice. And then you see him out, you're like, oh, man. Kind of a pussy, huh? And then she's flirting with you. She might send you DMs. And she's like, well, why why didn't we ever? I'm like, what do you mean, why didn't we ever? Look at your boyfriend. You thought you were going to be me? What are you talking about? Um, what the fuck am I talking about? Oh, yeah, this butch lesbian lady on, um... Is butch lesbian even a thing? I feel like that guy completely glazed over. That, that, that industry's done. They're taking our jobs, dude. I, um... This fucking new job's really butt-fucking. Dude, my nibs. My little nip. Whoa, I just realized the comedy show I did on Friday didn't pay me. I'm gonna have to crack some skulls. That's the good thing. I always hear these stories about people not getting paid in comedy. I'm like, what kind of pussy are you? Who in comedy is, you know, and I mean, if people are comfortable enough stealing from you in comedy, you got bigger problems, bro. 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 I will tell you that the sun coming up is beautiful right now. We're watching the sun cascade over beautiful Camden. What else is going on, dude? UFC. I, I love all the people. Uh, this is why I didn't want any. When I used to watch, I, I've been watching, the, I'm not one of those guys like, I've been watching the thrill, but I have. You know what I mean? I've been watching it probably longer than anybody you know. And then when fucking everybody started getting into it and ESPN got it, Rogan, I love Joe Rogan. You know what I mean? I like him. I like him. But I can't really listen to a podcast anymore unless he's having fighters on. But it's just making every retard think they know what they're talking about. Sean Strickland got robbed. He got, I was like, did you listen to that podcast? I, I mean, I thought, from what I remember, Str- I thought Strickland won, but I was watching it drinking. And you can't watch a fucking fight drinking with your girlfriend asking you which guy's the one, which guy's the guy I like, and what, what are these shorts he has, like, you know, the questions, the lady questions. Is it funny that Dana White wants to bring UFC Africa to Africa now that they have a white guy from Africa as the champ? That's kind of funny. Is it cool? 
no. But is it kind of funny? Yes. That's pretty funny. It is funny that, I mean, Sean Strickland is going hard at the press conference. And people were not liking it. But he's basically doing the fucking kids are getting indoctrinated in school shit. Which I don't know. You know, maybe they are, maybe they aren't. I, I don't have a kid in school yet. I will tell you if my daughters, I mean, I'm going to be a psycho man. I am. Uh, but he's spazzing, and everybody's like, this is disgusting. I'm like, what did you think that guy thought, man? Like, I love that people are just thinking that about the UFC. I'm like, do you know what guys in the NFL think? Have you ever talked to a black guy about the LGBTQ shit? Have you? Because it ain't going to be what you think it is. It ain't going to be, you know what I mean? They're usually pretty cool. They're cool. Everybody's cool. But, like, you don't want to hear what a fucking meathead guy thinks about stuff. You want to see him play fucking sports. LeBron started sharing his opinion, and that motherfucker has been reading the same book for 19 years. That was one of the funniest bits of all time, undeniably. When he kept reading, what was he reading? A Malcolm X book and still on, like, the same page? He'd be, like, behind in other pictures. No fun. But I'm just like, who gives a fuck what athletes think about anything? You know what you should think about? Who should th- who you should care about their opinion? Guys in fucking vans, work vans. That's who you should care about. Nobody has better opinions on geopolitics. I'm not even sure what geopolitics means. Does that just mean politics around the world? Yeah, is that what does that mean? I'm not sure. I say a lot of stuff I don't need, but I don't come out here acting like I'm smart either. Don't ask me my opinion on shit. Dude, I got asked to do a fucking comedy show in West Philly, which is basically our Bushwick. Um, and it's like a debate comedy show. Like, get to debate topics. And I agreed to do it. And I'm like, <laughs> I ain't looking up shit. I'm just going to go in there and be like, I can beat you up. You know? That's how I debate. I'm just like, you know. I don't know why I'm talking about this. I don't know why I'm talking about this. Philly's still a fucking shit show. Snow everywhere. It's disgusting. Like, snow rules for the first day it hits, and then after that, you're like, this is foul. All my little bitch ass helpers. The only good thing about working around here is that there's a goddamn acne that has the best grilled chicken. I might have to fuck around and get a guest pass to this gym today. Because I haven't worked out. Dude, I haven't worked out in so long. I'm losing my mind. I am losing it. I can't live like this. Dude, could people do a better job parking though? You know what I mean? It fucking sucks working out in the park. It was. All right, bro. You know it ain't scooter season. Who do you think you are? These fucking guys in Vespa's acting like they're on street bikes. You're 40. You're 40. What are you, delivering pizzas in a Ninja Turtles movie? Come on. Get real. Remember those? Remember those guys? Little, little ninja, what, what's that, that movie? Yeah. Little Baker scaffolding drop off, son. What am I talking about? Strong Strickland was popping off. There's a spot right here. Right here. We got a spot. It is pretty funny. I always forget how, like, Philly has so much historical shit. They have, like, I always see park rangers around here. I'm like, what are you fucking dorks doing? Don't put on a fire. Uh-oh, this person's got a pineapple on their car. Doesn't that mean they fucking swing? Is that actually a thing? I always forget. How do you guys feel about swinging? My only thought on swinging is that every girl I've ever dated promised me a threesome until you get more than six months into the relationship. And then they're like, I was joshing. That was just to get you. That was just to get you hook, line, and sinky. Oh, shut up with the light. Dude, how do I look? Fucking rough. Brutal day. Brutal day. Dude, I put this stuff in my hair this morning, and now I'm saying, what's going on? Because I, I get fucking sick of wearing a hat at work, dude. But also, if I don't wear a hat, I get... Oh, no. That's what my stuff smells weird. A little chicken from yesterday. Mango habanero, brother. Did you guys see that they're going to... When I was watching football... Also, dude, shout out to the fucking Buffalo Bills. Holy shit. You're watching that game and you're like, this is it, dude. They're going to fucking do it this year. They're going to do it. 
They're going to do it. And then as soon as... I forget what series it was. It was the fourth quarter. It was like eight minutes. Uh, maybe like ten minutes. Nine minutes? It was under ten minutes. And Josh Allen had a three and out. You're like, oh, he's going to fucking poop. He's going to fuck it. And then they had like two deep balls. Sheffield dropped one. Fucking Stefan Diggs, dude. He can beat it, that guy. He's another one of the motherfuckers. He complains nonstop and then he fucks up big plays. He had one bomb that he should he should have caught. And then... Who else dropped one? Sh- Sherfield. Every time I hear Sheffield, I drink. What was it? Gary Sheffield, that juice head. Did he ever get popped for steroids? I never got enough into baseball. Let those guys fucking do steroids, dude. How could you not? It's so boring. I'm also like, it's so funny to be on steroids in baseball, like just standing in the outfield, like, fucking God. Testosterone at like 1,000. That does kind of rule. I take it back. I'm just like, don't, what do you get? Don't you feel like you'd have ADD? Don't you think you'd have ADD? Who would want ADD? Who has that? What a pathetic disease. What a crippling disease that I wouldn't have. You like this coffee in this glass mug? Ugh. This job, I got a new fucking, I got three apprentices on this job that are just killing me. I think I'm over the portion of my life where I want to teach young guys how to do stuff because they're all just so worthless. They don't listen. They, like, kind of listen, but then you walk away and you're like, I don't think you understood any of that. And they lie and they're like, yeah, I got you. What am I talking about? I did see when I was watching football the other night. They're coming out with a Bob Harley biopic. Like, dude, can you just let a cool guy die without ruining his legacy, you know? Like, he seemed like the man, loved pussy, wasn't trying to kill nobody, and now they're going to make a movie that's going to make him seem gay. That's what it looks like to me. You know what I mean? We don't need a biopic. Like, isn't J. Cole just doing Bob Marley? He's basically just doing his shit. J. Cole seems pretty cool. But I don't like a guy that's that rich who purposely drop, like wears hoodies. And he's like, you know what I mean? He's kind of John Fetterman and now. Like, does Fetterman have money? He's got to. Something's up with that guy. He's like, nah, man, I don't need I don't need any of the glitz and glam. I don't need suits. I'm just Carhartt hoodied out. He dresses like me, like, in 10 years when I give up. Like, once I go bald, my physical, like, I don't try super hard anyway, but once I go bald, it's over, dog. You know what I mean? What am I talking about, dude? I, I'm getting so gay now every time I see a baby. I'm like, oh. That, dude, I don't understand. Shout out to single moms, dude. I don't know how them broads do it. With two of us, it stinks. Like, how do, I don't know, especially if you see a hot single mom, you're like, dude, shout out to you. Where do you get the time to keep that thing tight, mama? I got sh- I've gotten shit on so many times the past couple of days. I did, we did tubby time last night. My baby shit in her fucking shower t- uh, shower towel. Like that. Oh. You're dookieing up your towel, baby. You're dookieing up the towel. <sighs> I need to start talking better. You know. One of these days I'm gonna get a better grasp on the English language, but it ain't today. It ain't today. I got to go into this job. I think I'm going to, I'll try to crank out a couple more of these this week, but I mean, my brain power's low. I'll be back at full power soon. I can sense it. It's coming back. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. There's something. Also, fucking Skankfest. Skankfest auditions are back. If I send a tape to Skankfest this year and don't get in, I'd hate to fucking pull a Stephen Braddock. What was it, Stephen Paddock? But I, I won't do it that way. I'd just come with a BB gun and fucking blast some ankles at Skankfest. It's going to happen. This better be my year. I'm quitting comedy. Oh. But, inshallah, boys. Good day. Have a blessed week. Keep fighting the good fight. Look at this fat fucking... Just a fat state patrol guy. Well, not a state patrol, forest patrol. State. They're like a game warden, but there's nobody hunting. Like, what do you hunt raccoons in the state park? Like, what are you, what are you keeping fucking... I guess a terrorist comes, but these guys, these guys don't have guns. Have a good day.